Welcome back to Surviving Mars. And I've just actually upgraded all my moxies because on the last episode we noticed that we were running low on water. Um, and I was like, yeah, we need to finish this research that we're doing. We are at 43% there now to be able to use a water structure on a deep field uh, water thing. But I noticed that we also use quite a lot of moxies to, well, that's to produce, produce oxygen. And yeah, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's actually a moisture evaporator that produces water. So it's the same deal. Let's upgrade all control and click that we start upgrading all of them. And hopefully the water production will come up for us so we can uh, upgrade that and get 50% more from water so that would be quite fantastic there is a lot of need for food in here all right so yeah we now are even in the water production and consumption and yeah we now have more water than we are actually consuming good all right so back to normal, I think we are now with that sorted. It's good to see that our leg is also fully grown and kicking. So that's pretty good. Food consumption, food production four. That's awful actually. Why? It's like we need more people in here as well. What's, what's happening? We do have 40 jobs available in this area how are we in terms of residential slots we have quite a lot we might have like people dying of old age as you know we had a lot of um older people in here we can't have 229 middle aged and 35 seniors so we definitely need more people let's bring more people i i need to make them like have kids in here and start growing the population uh, just here. We have 10 children and 11 youth. Like it's happening, but it's taking a lot longer than I actually imagined. There we go. We are now producing food from our farm in here, which should improve this. Yeah, I hardly believe that this is for. But anyway, this is I think at the moment 2.3 so we are all right in there i can update this so we decrease the workplaces in there and that can work in other things as we have more jobs in this area research available complete. i will definitely do that and we finish the research that will allow us to get water from there i believe Unexploitable deposits. Shouldn't we cover? Ah, this is to uncover rich underground deposits. So I might have done the wrong thing there. Let me take a look at the right menu, please. So not dumbless farming, Martian aerodynamics, deep water extraction. That's what we should be going for. And probably this one after that. So we have faster shuttles and then we keep doing domless farming yeah i think that's how we are doing this i'm also thinking that we might do some external research we have a lot of money so why not and um, how do i do that again it's in here i think no nope. i don't remember how we do that Maybe we can't do that anymore. That's a possibility, to be honest. Grants bigger boost to production. Yeah, let's go for it. That'll be the next in line. All right, this is good. I'm also thinking that we can potentially level this up. Um, flatten the terrain. Can I reduce the size of this? Yes, I can. All right. Yep, 
can bring this. I can actually see what's happening there, but hopefully that's doing what I want it to do. Just a weird shape, but I think we we got it. Yeah, so we can build something in there if we need to. Not that we need to, but we, we can. Alright, so water is now sorted, at least for now. And oxygen, we have plenty. How about power? We might still need more power. And I think the idea is that we now need some solar panels in here. Although I know that we need more um, metal for that. But this would be helpful for us. And I think I will add then probably around here. And one more, one more, there we go. That might be more than enough. Although again, I just miss power cables. I think if I do this, this will connect with the remaining of the network, I believe. Let's see, they are building the cables in there. I hope so. And... Are we connected? Yes, we are. Good. Alright, is this good to go? Is to... Two has food. <laughs> 18 more. Ah, but this shuttle is actually for the other side. It's not for here. So, I'll land that shuttle in there so we can fill some jobs in this area. That's alright. And that makes a little bit more sense as well. And that's landed. More people arriving. That's fantastic. New colonists have arrived. So they should start moving between at least like when they are connected, they can move through the domes, and I think that's really helpful. But so many drones in here. Um but yeah, I think this would be for the best. There we go. They fill the jobs in there already. There is one, homeless, but I think they'll find a job soon enough, that, that'll be alright. Still have 21 vacant uh, jobs in there. Cool, this is getting better, it's not like the, the best yet, but we are getting there. We still need social and relaxation in here. What can I do for that? Could use that nursery there, to be honest. Let's see. Social and relaxation. Another space bar might be the, the best thing there. Um, we have six out of 10 people inside. Lots of people coming in here. That's pretty good. But it feels like we need something else. Relaxation. We could go for these, right? Although this consumes a lot of power. Would a park, relaxation, exercise, playing? This might be what we do. Although they're good now. Just complaining about shopping. But yeah, they, yeah, it's full. <laughs> it, it feels like there is no one and then it's full. And no one and then it's full. Oh, I just noticed that we do have this food storage at the front here, in here. That's quite cool, actually. I haven't noticed that before. And what is this? Oh, someone died. No, it's dreaming. All right. Can I do anything with him? Doesn't seem like we can. But interesting. We need to all um, advance a little bit on, on that area as well. 
food, we seem to be all right at the moment. Yeah, we are producing way more than we need. <laughs> what then we might need to do, or we could do actually, is change these to seed crops. And then at least we will produce some seeds for these forestation plants from time to time. Won't be like the, the whole year round, but that will help us quite a lot, I believe. This is a concrete depot that we have in here, probably because the other ones are full. Yeah, almost. But that's fine, they can use that. And metal, we are producing. Don't have much left in the air. Probably have to look at these shortly. I can't. Oh, there we go. We have 5,000 on this one. I think they are all extracting from their first deposits. Hopefully, they just shuffle to the next one when they finish. Otherwise, we'll be in trouble, I believe. This is almost full as well. Let's add another dumping site in the air. What is that? Dumping site, please. There we go. Well, that will help in that area. Are you done? You are done. So, I think I'll send you back. We will need some shuttles anyway. So, off you go. In this dome, we... Okay, we have everyone working, so that's that's fine. I think my only concern is keeping the metal extractors working in there, because I do believe... Let me try this. I should have tried that before. If I try to put one in here, that's actually going to work. Could add it in there, and we could have one extra metal deposit. Hmm. All right. Could I do it? I have two thousand available. I think I'll, I'll wait. We don't need that right now, so let's not overdo it. Okay. How is everything else? We might need. We are good on machines as well. There is nothing that we need like urgently that we might be running out. So maybe what we should focus on again is back on the terraforming. And I think the big one is water. Let's take a look at the planetary view and see if there is anything that we can do here. Um, this will give us a breakthrough. We need 10 people, any speci speci specialization, and we get a breakthrough. Let's send an expedition there. And let's send courage. And wait, you go. Good. What else do we have there? We have this area reading for a while now. This prompts an expedition. Will give us some extra resource. This... Cannot be resistance. What is this? Multiple strange signals detected over time. Eight drones and get us some resource. Let's send an expedition. Ready is ready to go. Or trust is ready to go, I should say. We'll lose some drones, but we... In no time, they will be back and we will advance a little bit. I think we start... We have to start doing those things now to make sure that we... Oh, well, we do... What do we need to do, right? In thinking about doing what we need to do, we have those two forestation um, plants in here. I think oh, we can choose different types. We could do grasses. So this one improves soil quality um, and don't spread Break on their own. Discovered. So it improves local soil Research quality, complete. which then means that they will grow on their own. So, okay. H. 
Oh, you actually can, yeah, change from time to time, right? We don't have bushes, trees, and mixed trees yet. What I could do is basically remove this one. As I don't believe we need that anymore. We have one just next to it. That, that's why I'm saying like we don't need that anymore. We, we just don't need that at all. Just this one we we'll still keep doing the work and we certainly don't need to waste materials in there. So what else do we have it? We have some other one around here as there we go. I'll also do some grasses in there. And yeah, they both improve soil quality. But grass is a little bit less, but grass will spread on its own while lichen won't. So maybe adding a little bit of a mixture in there. I'll do the same thing in here. I think that would be beneficial for us. So for this one, we have two of lichen and one for grass. That's what we're going for. Oh, I start to get green around here. Look at that. There we go. This is looking good. Our next crops will be seeds. Well, we have to finish rice and the next one will be uh, seeds. So that will be fantastic, actually. All right, this is looking good. Now, we do have two buildings not work. I think one infirmary as well. Why? We don't have... Oh, we don't have medics in there. We are enforcing specialists. Let's not enforce specialists and take a look at how that goes. Uh, what's the other one? Security station. Let's... Oh, we actually... All right, I'll have to open this up. Is it all right? Yeah, we might need more people again in there. We have 360 people available, but in this area, they're actually homeless. Why are you homeless? Don't we have like open place in here? Yeah, just just move. Um, if I catch you and can't be assigned a building. All right, I don't know what to do then. Because I'm definitely bringing in more people. Anomaly analyzed. There we go. Got some research points in there. We do have an extra one to, to do. I feel like we should start... What is that? Increase the research output. This is for research as well. Tribute Latwick Scrubber. Reduce dust accumulated on buildings. And I believe this will reduce the amount of maintenance that we need as well, which might be a great idea. And we got a new breakthrough, the whole polarization. Buildings require maintenance less often. Let's go for it. <laughs> it's like, don't even think about that. Just go for it. That's good. We got some metal resource in there. That's fantastic. More planetary things, please. And uh, don't need to do that now. This one we need to send. Oh, that might be an, a reason why we were seeing not enough people in the in the colony. So this will give us technologies. Oh, you know what? It's just three people. Let's send them over there. So when you finish refueling, you can go. 
and the other one is unloading there you go so we can go back and see what we can do nine people there we need an rc safari for this one we need four engineers for that one i made saying this one unknown outcome unknown i like those let's send people over there um this one is increase sponsor research in exchange for constructing and la launching and advanced communications satellites and this one funding all right i feel like i want to do this because this is an unknown and there we go you are refueling when you're done you go and we have two more shadows going now we just have one hopeless at the moment again they can move around and figure it out we do have plenty of rare metals which might mean that we can do it's not this one is the electronics i believe yeah another electronics factory but we have plenty of space for them to work on those factories so if i look at this yeah we have more people that can live there oh why are people homeless now like you you shouldn't be i just don't know how i can make them move into some some other area we don't have anyone homeless in here here where are they like we don't have residential slots everywhere i i can see why they are homeless six over there six over there 18 available, 8 available. This one is full. So maybe what we do here is we do a new living complex for them. And hopefully they are not homeless anymore. And we have a treasure hunt. Let's see. Following a signal of exact mathematical sequence, the expedition had discovered a tiny probe buried in the sand. When approached, the probe projected a message, a message of complex ciphers and codes. It's definitely something of human origin. No aliens there. For better or worse, but questions still remain. Who put it there? What is the message? What is the purpose of all this? In fact, a new technology has been revealed, the cipher. Research it to decode the signal's meaning. Um... Oh, I would love that one, but just interesting, and we'll have to do some research. We have an empty slot. I... I should be look for it. I have no idea where that is. Mega satellites. That's good. Localize there for me. That's also good. What's the next one? I would like to do nuclear terraforming, but I think we should upgrade the extractors or maybe start the DVR workshop. Just start doing like those older research that we never used. Or maybe the, this one. Decorations have increased service comfort. That would be a good one. I'll do that. People will be happy about that. Okay, is our new building here? We have shadow returning. Go back there. I want to see that number going down. But this is just unemployed. That doesn't mean that this one should go down. Nine, seven. There you go, they're starting to, to find a place to live. 14 residential slots. We have 8. We have 1 over here. 
18. We have enough jobs in this area. We do have no unemployed. Could also provide some. Well, they don't want anything else other than luxury. They want some relaxation, though. We might do something like this and an alley or a stone garden. There we go. Make it unhappy. That's what we are going for. This is looking pretty good. I love it. You see all these lakes around here. I feel like we should build another lake in there, but maybe not yet. If you look at the water situation, um, this is to produce one water. Yeah. And this produced from the atmosphere. We still have this one. Can we build that in the air now? Yes, we can. Alright, so the idea here is that we do this. And probably need power and some pipes. So we would do this. And for power, we will do... I'll change the power cables in this area a little bit. Just so we reutilize this. And when that's done, this will be connected over here. I believe. And then we can actually remove this one. Oh, this one is black. Let's land you where do i land you maybe i'll land you over there that's fine i think we can build those water reclamation systems in places where we have a lot of people living like this one we have 39 people living in there 38 here i don't think we can do it there and 43 in here i'll definitely do it in there so water reclamation system so we can save a little bit more water although these like help us Research complete. Uh, get a lot more water it's good to save as well you know don't need to overdo it but yeah water is done we can do now domeless farming as well which is quite good um and i'll, I'll do this one to melt the polar caps and we should be all right there Okay, lots of good stuff. Now, what I'm thinking is that we could start changing the waste uh, rock into concrete. I just don't know how to do that yet. So we probably just need to take a look at... Oh, I found how to <laughs> salvage. How to remove those cables. There we go. Um... I knew that there was a way to do this. So, recharge st station, that's not what I want. Drone hub, shuttle. Not this one. He there, no, not this one. Tunnels. Tunnels would be good to connect a few places, but we don't have any mountains around us, so we don't need that. I would say that that's probably production. Oh, we never had a drone assembler in here. That's actually something that we, we should do. Waste rock processor, there we go. And I think for this one, it would make sense for us to have it in the air. Hopefully we don't need people in here. Let's see, let's build it and we will see how that goes. Have a lot of waste rock in here. There's more there, there's a lot more in here as well. A lot of, of there, like we don't have a name for <laughs> waste rock. So I want to see how this works and then we, well, and then we see what, what we do. But definitely there are a few things that we can do here to improve what we are doing. For example, drone assembler, I 
just mentioned a few minutes ago that we might need some more drones so this is something that we've never done yet uh, we might i think we've done one large water tank so this is all right never use pipe valves as well so didn't have a use for that yet and what else i think the domes are the domes mega dragon dome that's nice or we haven't done anything for tourism and i don't think i want to at the moment mountain mix rocks and reds all right we can do that capital city can do that yet we don't have breathable atmosphere and we need So the improved atmosphere decreases the severity of the storm, meteor storm, and terraforming boosts the power production of wind turbines and to the oxygen production of moxies, decrease power production, all right, of solar. We don't have the open farm now, which requires power, water, and seeds, but we don't have issues with food at the moment so i'll keep it is i'll keep this as it is i think goal now is water and vegetation so that might be what we do there uh, we do some it's good to see that we don't need people working there the song concrete from 10 waste rocks. I'll let it run for a while, see how it go, and maybe we build more of those if we need to. Although we don't. So this is planting stuff, plantation area, pretty big, that's great. And yeah, I think we are doing well. We still have seeds available, which is nice. And I can see some grass growing over here that's oh that's getting dark no that's something i want to see that but we can make sure that this is just getting better and better so if i look at planetary again we do have a lot more going on in here and i think we can do more of those we can start sending those expeditions to accelerate or research as well we had one that need a an rc safari let's let's go send um water commander commander Oh, we don't have an RC Safari. Can we bring one? Remote control vehicle that takes tourists. All right. I'll bring one and see what we got. That's the only thing that we can get from there. That's a big waste of money probably, but I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. You don't have not enough power interesting all right we need to increase our power production then we need more drones in here as well all right i think i know why this is happening it's probably because Research we don't have complete. enough drones Anomaly in analyzed. here or something actually happened because just back to normal now yeah but i will get a few more solar panels in there i think we we might make good use of that and that's more than enough okay so this is the rc safari so i'll land this close to that and this one is back i'll land you over there Mark this as dead. 
and oh that's already gone i was like where, where's the rc safari <laughs> give me that i want that but all goods then so that's working our shuttles are currently to low global load which is very good um, power still we have six hours of stored power still not good enough i might do some solar panels around here as well i won't overdo it i promise i'll just do it like this okay got some research that with that anomaly analyzed which is good we have a, a rocket or a shuttle or whatever we call it coming back which is also fantastic and yeah i just want you to see that grass before we finish <laughs> we might send another shuttle out uh, just in case but i do want to see more so we have 350 people now some of them dying 349 oh look at that we have 230 middle aged at the moment that is oh that's a massive problem i feel like at some point everyone will retire and we are probably done that'll be the end of it <laughs> but we will see how that goes okay you land there grass let's take a look at grass you can see that it's pretty different from the legion and this is starting to take shape I have grass it's growing oh that's so cool that's so so cool look at that oh that looks so good all right we now have grass and as you can see like can see the grass at the back there oh that's so nice Ayusha, i i have seen that before we have that like for a long time now and yeah we never use it so i had the impression that something blew up there but I think I might be wrong. I think we always had just two universal depots in there. All right, so we saw the grass. We got some rockets back. We can send more of them out, to be honest. Um, four engineers over there. Let's send you. And let's send you to get some research done. All right, that'll be all for today. Uh, that is a lot more happening now that we now that we figure out our resource, and we still have some seeds available, which is fantastic. Love to see that. So I do hope you've enjoyed this episode of Surviving Mars, and I'll even add like a seed depot in here before we go. There we go. But yeah, let me comment. Let me know how what you think, how we're doing. I think we are having a lot more progress now, and I want to start expanding more and more Research. and making this looking a lot um, cooler, spread out uh, around the map and not just oh more power, nice, and spread out around the map, not just here. Like this was a very um, built app, built up area, and we don't need that. We can expand like this, can bring more buildings here and there, and maybe even start working on some tourism later on. Who knows? But obviously, you know, my focus is uh, terraforming, and this is what we're talking about. Just love how this looks. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So good. But thanks again. Let, uh, leave a, a like if you enjoyed this episode and maybe consider watching the video on your screen because I think you might like that. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.